Hey Salukis, my name is Liz. I'm with the social media team here at SIU. And I just wanted to kind of check in with everyone to see that you guys are doing okay. Um, there's been a lot of changes happening in the last few weeks. Uh, we're now doing online learning. And as of yesterday, you can now choose pass or fail for your classes. So I know it's a lot to process, um, but we're here to help. So anytime you have any questions, you can always reach out to us on our social media platforms or send an email to pandemicinfo at siu.edu with any questions that you may not find on our frequently asked questions website. Today I'm here to show you a different website. It's siu.edu slash current. So these are resources for our current SIU students. Uh, we've totally revamped it for the situation that has been brought upon by COVID-19. So in the first box here, you'll see a lot of different online resources. We've got an article here from the DE, 10 Tips to Online Learning. Um, you can download Zoom or Microsoft Teams here. We also have links here. Uh, Ask a Librarian, for example, is our service at Morris Library. So those librarians are still working from home, as all of us are for the most part. Um, but they are still available to help you. We still want everyone to be able to get the education that they want. On the right hand side here, you'll notice we have six different virtual backgrounds for you to use on Zoom. Um, so maybe you went home and you're not in Carbondale. You can still use one of these backgrounds and pretend like you are or see the beauty that is Carbondale. Right now, it's April now and the trees and flowers are blooming, so it is the best time to be on campus. Unfortunately, um, with the COVID-19 situation, most people are staying indoors. So this is a good way to be remembered, reminded of the outdoors. The second box down here is for mainly students who are in Carbondale currently. It's the computer labs that are available. And just a reminder, if your Wi-Fi happens to go out or something, you can go to downtown Carbondale and log on to their Wi-Fi from anywhere. You can just park your car and start getting on their Wi-Fi. Um, health is very important. Uh, a lot of us have routines maybe of going to the gym. Now the gyms are closed, so it's maybe a little more difficult for you to get into a habit. Um, the rec center is trying to help you out. They've got daily workouts that they're posting their Facebook and Instagram pages. Uh, you can do those at your leisure, so you don't have to attend at a certain time. It's whenever you'd like, and you can do them as many times as you'd like. Uh, we also have a few other links here. And mental health is another important issue. Um, this time, staying indoors, staying alone, social distancing, it's new to everybody. Um, a lot of people have a hard problem with that, a lot of problems for extroverts. Um, introverts may be thinking they were born for this, <laughs> but extroverts aren't liking it as much. And so there's a lot of different ways that you can try to cope. Um, one of them could be maybe getting a counseling service here. So we've got links to several things here, as well as down here in the community section. So if you're lonely and you, you know, want to talk to your friends or you miss people, you guys can maybe have a Netflix party or a Facebook watch party, things like that. So there are different ways that you can still be connected while being apart. Um, if you are in the Carbondale area and you need food, we are here to help you. Um, this box here has the phone number 877-725-0006. Call that number for more information as of today, which is April 1st. The emergency food bags will be handed out tomorrow, April 2nd, from 11 to 1 p.m. So again, that Thursday afternoon may change the following week. So call this number, 877-725-0006, for more information. And if you're a person who wants to help people, you can donate by clicking on this link and try to help students who are in need. Again, I can't say it enough. These are unprecedented times, uncharted waters. No one who's alive today has ever experienced this global pandemic that we're going through. People around the world are sitting in their homes all day. It's very unusual 
situation. Uh, no one knows how to deal with it. A lot of people are very stressed. So it's important to keep that in mind and try to show a little patience to everybody. Be patient with each other, be patient with yourself, be patient with your instructors, be patient with us. Um, we can all learn by being patient with each other. Um, and here we have some links for books that maybe you can read or listen to, some meditation apps, podcasts. Um, again, you know, we're all in this together. If you have any questions, check our FAQ, which is linked here. Send us an email, pandemicinfo at siu.edu, or reach out to us on our social media platforms, and we'll try to find that information for you, or we may um, send, give you this email address if you didn't already have it. Um, but again, we're here to help you. We don't want anyone to feel like they've been dropped out in the middle of the ocean without a, a lifeboat. So please, please reach out if you do need help. And remember, this is temporary. So we're all going to get through this together. We're all resilient and we'll all be stronger for it. All right. Well, thank you. Have a beautiful rest of the week. Um, enjoy the weather outside. Take a nice walk while maintaining your social distancing. All right. Have a good one.